Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lily, and I am so happy that you are here with me today. You can see my dancing hands. Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> I recorded this earlier today, or I filmed it earlier today, and so I must have been really happy because, you know, I have dancing hands. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to show you how I repurpose some more book pages, and this time we are going to make some tags. I just, uh, had an idea to repurpose and make some tags, so let's just do it using some book pages. I've kind of already um, have the steps ready for the tags, um, just to kind of make it an easier process. What I did is I selected four sheets of, or four book page sheets, and the one at the very top is going to be a, a, a blank one. Um, for the tag. I'm going to use a tag that I had made previously as a template and I'm just going to place it over that blank blank space and I'm going to trace over it. I know there are other methods for doing this but this is how I did it. <laughs> how I did it today. That'll probably change tomorrow but it made sense to do it this way. And so I just traced it, used a pencil, and uh, and after I trace it, I'm going to hold the pages together with a paper clip, and uh, I will then run it through the sewing machine, and I will stitch over that pencil line, and I don't go back and erase the line. I. I just don't. <laughs> I didn't see the point or maybe I just forgot, but I don't. So I just stitch over that. But to make this a super quick and easy process um, for video purposes, I'm not going to show you the stitching part because I already did it off camera. <laughs> so. What am I going to do? Oh, so what I took to stitch it through the machine, I did clip it together so they could stay in place. And so that's what I'm showing you here. Just kind of holding the pages in place and then stitching around those lines. And voila, there it is. And I used a really nice vintage thread. I was worried it would break in the machine, but, but it made it. It is it was like a lime green, like a chartreuse. You know how I love, love my lime, lime green. And so I think it looked, it looked really nice. I suppose I could have erased the lines, but I honestly didn't even think about it. And then again, look at that. I had the two, well, I started, the video started with me showing you the pair of tags that I had already made off camera, my samples. And this is what I'm doing. So I'm just taking my scissors and trimming just outside of that stitched line. And let me tell you that these tags turned out great. They feel so good, almost like a little cushion, like a little pocket. And it's because of the four pages that are layered together. But I really like how they, how they turned out. And the, um, I was actually getting ready this morning and as I was, you know, putting my makeup on and doing my hair, I thought, I thought I had this vision of these tags in my head. And I'm like, oh, let me see if I can execute it. And I did. If they're out there in the craft world, which I'm sure they are, um, I hadn't seen them. <laughs> I'm sure they are because we all, all crafters, we all think the same. But I really like the way they turned out. And remember how I had talked in the previous videos on how I like to reserve those blank pages for other projects like journaling cards and tuck spots? Well, here we go. Another use for those blank pages. So now I'm just going to punch some holes and, and embellish, embellish these tags. Um, in this video, I'm also going to work on a few pages in my December Daily, AKA 
altered book, AKA Christmas junk journal. Yes, lots of AKAs. So that'll come after because, um, but I wanted to start this video or this process with uh, these tags. Sometimes I like to do a little, a little um, a project right in the middle of the video or as I'm, as I'm working on something, but I thought I would start today with, with these with these nice little cute little tags. I also, um, I stained and inked and painted some of these reinforcers. I had the plain white ones and then I had some that I had stained with vintage photo with the distress ink and then I had a gold one and, but I follow Heidi Swap on Instagram and she had done a project just recently and I noticed that the tags that she had made, she had colored reinforcers and I thought I need to have some more. I need to have a larger variety of colored reinforcers and so I went through my little bag and I colored some more. So right here I'm just showing you how I inked them. And I just pressed it against the ink pad. And I'm, there's multiple ways of doing this. This is just, this is what I thought was pretty easy. So I just push it, push um, the little reinforcers against the ink pad and kind of push them through or press them with that um, ink dauber. And then I, I switch it up, up a little bit and then I ink the dauber and then press it up. And that's how I, that's how I, um, how I uh, inked them with the stamp pads. And then I have the others where I used acrylic paint and uh, I used a gold acrylic paint and also that turquoise one you can kind of see. But I think they turned out really nice and I did want some red ones and some pink ones but for now, I just, I wanted to play around with, with, with these colors and I think they turned out really nice. And you can go as light or as dark as you want. So you can see the bottom half of those are much darker or more inked than the top half, but that's the beauty of it. You can make it however you like, but they turned out really nice. And to show you, for this video, I just reached over and grabbed the first ink pad that I could reach. Oh, and I also made some glitter ones. So I'm gonna show you how I, how I made the glitter ones. And I made these super quick. And I used some of that tinsel glitter that Tim Holtz has. It's the, it's the Distress Tinsel Glitter, I believe is what it's called. It is, it is so beautiful. It's super fine. It looks like the vintage, vintage um, glitter. And I love it. Now, you either love or hate glitter. I love it. And, and I knew that I was going to make a mess. And I knew that I would be covered in glitter all day. And I was. And I still am. <laughs> I still, there are still little glitter particles all over me. <laughs> so I just took a little bit of glue and kind of dabbed it around the reinforcers and then spread it with my finger. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle that, that tinsel. And then I'm going to take another sheet of book page and kind of press it down so that the glitter adheres to the glue. but I really like how they turned out. They, they're they not even, so you I didn't get an even coat because I kind of did this um, haphazardly, but that was okay. So they're not evenly coated. They looked like distress um, reinforcers. I could have taken my time and really coated them, but I'm okay. I wanted the glitter and and look how cute they look. And I know it's difficult to pick it up in the camera, 
But look at that. It made a really, it made a difference. And they look super cute. And it was messy. And that's okay. So you either love glitter or you don't. I, I, glitter is my favorite color. <laughs> Any shade of it. I, I absolutely love it. And I use some uh, glitter washi tape in a little bit. Let's just glitter everything today. I was in the mood for glitter and that's what I did. Hope you all are doing absolutely amazing. Can you believe we are in the middle of December? Unbelievable. The month has gone, gone by so fast and the year, wow, 2021 almost coming to a close. Unbelievable, you guys, unbelievable, amazing. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, but guess what? We're still, we're still trekking along. So here I'm just show you all the different ones and yeah, I really like how they turned out. I need some pink and some reds in there, but they look great. There's that turquoise one. That's the one I used the acrylic paint and I just rubbed the acrylic paint over with uh, with my finger the same thing with the gold with the gold ones yeah there i go see <laughs> lots of glitter everywhere so let's embellish some of these tags and and make them look prettier i actually like the way they look plain and one of the reasons i wanted to create these tags out of book page have you ever written on a book page? It makes, I just love the feel of my um, gel pen. Um, now, I my favorite pen is the Sarasa in black, the bold, the one point. I love that pen. And that pen over the book page feels so good. It makes my handwriting look so much better. And I love the way it feels against the book page. So if you know, if you've, if you've written on a book page or journaled on, on one, you, you know what I'm talking about. And it's really nice and cushiony. I don't know. It, it's just, it makes writing enjoyable <laughs> on the book page. Oh, and that's me demonstrating how I got the turquoise on there. <laughs> but look at the, that little pop of color. It just, it really does make a difference. And I had originally, when I first bought these reinforcers, and I've mentioned before, I, I picked them up at the Dollar Tree. I was just using plain white ones. And, and then there was someone that I saw that distressed them. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Let's add distressing to them. These are... Those are gold. Oh my gosh, the gold ones are so cute. They are, they are so nice. They have just the perfect amount of shimmer, that gold. But yeah, and then um, after inking them, then I started inking with all different inks. And, and now I've done paint and glitter. But, but I really like how they turned out. Again, thank you for being here with me. Um, you guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Join me. I'm happy to have you here. I love having you here. <laughs> Let me know what your plans are for Christmas. We haven't really um, decided what we're going to do. We kind of have a plan, but it's not set in stone yet, so... We're still kind of messing around or kind of, uh, you know, tossing around ideas as to what to do. So, but I know it'll be, I know it'll be a nice, a nice Christmas Eve, a nice Christmas day. I'm adding that eyelash trim to soften it up. And I love that gold um, trim, that gold like a cording. That was really nice, but... I needed to soften it up a little bit and that eyelash trim really helped. So 
So now I'm just going to go through some of my stickers. I picked up, so I went to Joann's um, a little bit ago because my sister had told me that there was a display of some of Tim Holtz's Christmas line at Joann's. And so I I went down and, because I, I, I watched, have you guys watched Tim Holtz's um, lives? They are amazing. He is on it, you guys. He does the best lives. Um, I'm at work when he does them live, and so I have to watch him in in sections. They're about, you know, three hours long, but they are worth it. So much information. And I just love watching him. So he, there was one where he released his Christmas line. And so anyway, my sister told me that Joanne's had it. So I went down there and they were just about sold out, sold out. So I picked up this sticker book and I picked up one of the paper pads and two paper, two little paper pads, this sticker book and an ephemera pack. And that was it. Everything else was gone. That end cap at Joann's was empty. I just want to know who are the other people in my town loving Tim Holtz. We need to get together and we need to craft. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the first thing I thought. I need some Tim Holtz friends over here. <laughs> we need a little craft party. Can we do that? Can we hold craft parties? Oh my gosh. I miss the workshops, you guys. I do. I had so much fun in California when, when uh, we would do craft workshops, card making, scrapbooking. Um, I think we did. We had an altered Rolodex cards workshop, a little flip book, just all kinds of different workshops. I miss them. I really do. I miss the weekend getaways, crafting 24 seven for three or four days, nonstop. I love those, I miss them. So one day soon, one day soon. And so did you see, I used, I grabbed some of the, some of my, Glitter washi tapes, and those are my favorite ones. The gold one is my absolute favorite. Love it. But I wanted to play around with the other colors as well. We're just using up, we're just using up my, our stash. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is, this is sad. <laughs> this is a sad, a sad washi tape roll. So I was, I wanted a, a, a different look for this tag and so I reached over for something uh, very for a subtle washi tape and I tried and tried to peel it apart and I gave up so I set it aside I'll deal with it later but it I think it's all dried and gummed up together you guys so sad so that's why we need to use up our supplies because they will get old and and then you'll be upset that you didn't use it more often so no more hoarding supplies i'm not going to buy any more washi tape until i use all everything that i have <laughs> some of them are all gummed together and others are don't even have sticky anymore So I am just looking, I didn't plan on how I was going to decorate these tags. So I'm just kind of looking around on my desk to see what comes up. And I was looking for a label for this one and I couldn't find my labels. So I just drew one. <laughs> I have a... As I was going through my, through the um, December junk journal, I was looking at how limited I am in supplies. And I know I've mentioned that before. I just limited working with um, what I could find again, because my things are packed again. 
story of my life. I'm constantly moving. <laughs> Things are always packed up. Oh my gosh, when is this going to stop? So I'm just using whatever I can find, whatever wasn't packed, and and I'm making it work. So it's it's become quite challenging um, working on the on the uh, Christmas junk journal. Really challenging because there are so many other products and items that I would like to use. But I don't have them. They, I don't even know where they are in a box somewhere in my storage unit. But, but it is, it is challenging. Um, but I'm going to make it work. I want to focus more on the memories and, and the activities, the things I've done with my family and all of the new things that I've started. And not so much on the decor. Because I know that when I look back, once I'm done, when I look back, it's going to bring me, it's going to bring me um, really good memories. I have had a couple days this month where I just wasn't feeling it. But overall, overall, it's been pretty good, you know. I try not to focus my energy on things that that don't deserve um, that much energy. You know, I just have to shift gears and and just focus on more of the, uh, the good things, the positive, and that helps me. But look at how cute you guys look at those tags. Didn't they look? They're super easy, kind of plain or simple, not plain. They're, they're simple. A more minimalistic look, and I do struggle with that, with minimalism. But I really like how they turned out. Just a little bit of washi tape, a little, just a few stickers, some trim, and they turned out really cute. So let's work on a few pages on my junk journal, December junk journal. And I've decided, and I talked about it in the previous video, how I already have a plan for next year. Um, I'm not doing it like this anymore. I'm just gonna prepare a winter junk journal and like I have my other journals, I'm going to decorate it and embellish it. And then I'm just going to use it as my winter journal. Because this is difficult. This is really hard. And it's challenging. I, well, I shouldn't say really hard. But it's challenging, you guys. Because I'm working on it as I go. And so I'm jot jotting down my daily activities and then putting the pages together, embellishing them and trying to come up with ephemera and embellishments for it. So yeah, it's a little bit challenging. But when I do have an idea, I will put uh, pieces of paper and embellishments and little things into the pages like I did with this. I wanted to make a tag with a vellum layer and, and I, put it in the page where I wanted that to be. And so that's what I'm doing now. Again, using my tag as a template. This time I didn't uh, trace it with a pencil. I just held it with a paper clip and trimmed around it. And it turned out really good. So as the ideas are coming, because I haven't been able to work in the um, in the junk journal for a week. When did I work on it last? It was Friday the tenth, and so today I am recording this. Today is the sixteenth, so six days later. So as I as I had ideas, I would grab those little sheets of paper and whatever it was that was on my mind, and I place it in the page. 
and I just hoped that I'd remember what I wanted to do with it. And so I did, at least for this one, I did. <laughs> there were some other ones where I looked at it and I'm like, what, 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 what was the plan? What was I going to do with these pieces of paper or with this trim or sticker? I don't remember, but I did remember for this one. That's a sheet of vellum that I've been wanting to use from the very beginning. So I'm glad that I, I got to use it. That, that paper is so cute. There's little Santas on the reverse side, but I like the way that the, um, that the vellum looks layered over that brick, that brick design. So that looks really nice. I did print out some more pictures and I will be um, gluing some of those down. Um, and I also embellished some of the pages. So I'll show you, I'll show you that as well. But I am having lots of fun. I'm not sure if I will be doing another video. I'm not sure um, because Christmas is next week and it's getting really busy. Look at this charm. So last year I picked up these cute little, not last year, maybe two years ago, these cute little Christmas charms. So cute. That Christmas tree is so cute. I have been dying to use it and I'm going to attach it to a bull pen and add it to the trim on that tag. And those little details are what make the ephemera pieces or the embellishments and your junk journal just really stand out. Look at how cute that looks. <laughs> and that's it, I'm done with that tag. It's more as a decorative piece than anything. So I really like how that turned out. So I'll place it in the junk journal in one of the pages somewhere. So those are the, those are the tags that we are working on today. Um, I don't think I make any more tags, do I? I can't remember. We'll see. But I did set aside a couple more bullpens with some little uh, glass beads that I also want to use to embellish a few other tags. And... I had a little accident. I was adding the bead to the pin and I was trying to push it through. The bull pin is kind of curvy at the bottom and I was trying to push that little bead through so that it sits just like that red one there, just like that red, the red um, bead. It sits perfectly in that round bottom of the pin. Anyhow, I was trying to do the same thing with that green one and see, see how perfect that little red bee just sits. Oh my gosh, it's so cute how it sits on that bulb pin. Just perfect. Well, I was trying to do the same thing with the green bit, uh, bead and I was trying so hard that I stabbed myself in my thumb with the pin. And so I didn't realize it. And so I actually had to um, stop the video and go get a, a Band-Aid. I'm glad I didn't make a mess. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would have ruined my page. This is Saturday the 11th. That day was an adventure. I had already planned on going Christmas shopping with my middle daughter, and that's her, on the right-hand side. And we brought along my granddaughters. So that is them on the left-hand side. And we went to the mall on Saturday. And that was insane. The parking lot to get in there. Oh my gosh. And then by the time we had to leave, it was crazier just to try to leave. So, but we did have a lot of fun. I ha you guys, I hadn't been to a mall in years. Years like to walk around a mall, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember the last time I did that. I'd go to the department store that I needed to go to, but to walk around a mall, we were there for hours. It was so much fun. It was fun. Um, so we did that on Saturday and 
did some shopping that was so much fun. I was looking for a pair of shoes because I was going, I, I was invited to a Christmas party that evening and I needed a pair of, I was looking for a pair of boots, something cute because right now I only have, I have a pair of chunky Doc Martens. I have a couple pair of Vans and I have my rain boots and that's it. Everything else is packed away. And I thought, well, I can't wear any of those to a party. My friend said, and dress up, dress up for my party. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear a evening dress with a pair of chunky Doc Martin boots. Oh my gosh. So I kind of stressed a little bit. Couldn't find any shoes anywhere. Oh, and this is me struggling with a pin and the bead. And that's when I poked myself. Yes. I had a little, oh. <laughs> so cleaned it up. Luckily, you know, I didn't lose my thumb or anything. But, but I did have to pause and go get a Band-Aid. So we went to all the shops looking for shoes and I didn't find any, but I did pick up a couple of sweaters because I don't have, uh, I don't have a lot of winter clothes. I've been kind of wearing the same thing over and over again. So I did pick up a couple of sweater tops and, uh, and I wore one that night. So my daughter and I were, she was helping me brainstorm for outfits. Oh my gosh, it was, I was stressed out a little bit because I thought I was going to end up wearing jeans, chunky boots, and just a sweater <laughs> to a Christmas party. But glued down the pictures and then I um, added a little bit of ruffle trim there that I um, stitched off camera. I had some really cute frames and die cuts. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them, but it looks cute clipped to the page. So, so right now, again, just like I did in the previous video, I'm just going to attach um, some of the pictures and it's only, I only do this to two or three pages. Um, cause it's all, I only printed a few pictures and this is also, so I did, I'm, I'm using it four pages for, for Saturday the 11th. And you know what? I'm running out of pages, you guys. So I had to designate a day for the rest of the month or else I'm, I'm not going to have enough room. But these are my friends and we had such a good time at my friend's house. It was just a bunch of us. Um, oh my gosh, from work. And we had, oh, it was so nice. She was such a great host. My friend Tracy and all of my other friends. We took a nice group picture and had a really good time. We did a gift exchange. And there I am kind of in the center of the group picture. And, oh, I didn't finish telling, me, telling you about my shoe story. I didn't find any shoes. So I may do with what I had. And... I wore a sweater and then I wore a leather skirt that my daughter gave me just a couple weeks ago and I had to wear my rain boots. <laughs> I didn't have any other shoes. Those were the most decent ones that I could find. But it worked out good because it did we did get some snow and and it was cold that night. So the boots were perfect. They didn't look like rain boots because they look like a biker boot, um, but it's a rain boot and it kind of went with the outfit. So I think I did okay. Nobody noticed. <laughs> and then the hostess, Tracy and I were wearing almost identical outfits, sweater tops, black leather skirts, black stockings, and then um, yeah, so we were, everyone thought maybe we, uh, that we called each other and to have matching outfits. I'm really struggling with this corner. I want to add something at the bottom, um, like a pocket 
and I couldn't figure out. And I struggled with the corner, uh, with the corner tuck. I should have just used the book page corner pockets that I made. But I wanted to use this cute gingerbread man paper. And so I just cut it at a diagonal and try to make it work. But then I thought, well, maybe I could just make another pocket. And I really struggled. And I felt like I was even more under pressure because I'm filming and I don't want to take too much time. I want it to be, um, I don't want to overthink it. I want the process to be, <laughs> to be smooth and easy. And I don't want to stress over what I'm going to use. I kind of just want, I want it to, to look as though it was effortless. And like things just kind of fell into place naturally. <laughs> That's what I want in this book. But I did struggle with this. I ended up using the corner tuck. And I'm just going to tuck in the other pictures in there. And I'll go back. I do want to want to embellish a lot more. Oh, and what I was saying earlier is I'm not sure if I'm going to do another video um, for the remainder of the pages. I may end up doing just a flip through of the completed um, Christmas junk journal after Christmas. It all depends on how my week is next week um, because I have been... I've been doing training. So now that I have, um, so I have my real estate license now and, but I'm not going to, I have to set that up with um, the broker in Salt Lake, but I'm not scheduling that until January. But I have a remote job. Did I tell you guys I took on another job? I think I did as a real estate transaction coordinator for a brokerage in California. So I will be working remotely um, during the day for that brokerage. Did I mention that? I don't remember. And I don't want to bore you with my real estate. I love real estate. I could talk about real estate all day long, just like I can with um, crafting. Oh my gosh, I could, all day long, my two jams. But um, so I have been training and I've been doing Zoom training for a couple weeks now. And so I'll be doing a lot of that next week as well. And so all it all depends on how that goes. And, and then after all of my, my training, my uh, transaction coordinator training, um, then I'm on my own. So I matted the pictures just to make them more sturdy because I'm still printing them on copy paper because, um, again, I don't know where my photo paper is or presentation paper, so <laughs> copy paper it is. And I added it to, matted it on these uh, Christmas papers. And there I am in the middle with two of my coworkers who've become really good friends. I love them. I love my coworkers. I love this bunch of people that I hung out with on Saturday. Such a great time. The food was delicious. The decor was amazing. And everything. We played games. We played LCR. Left, center, right. And if you know what that game is, it is so fun. So we played that. We had the gift exchange. It was a really good time. Really good time. So again, that's another one of the little frames that I found. Um, not sure how I'm going to use it, but it looks good clipped on the page. So we're going to leave it like that. This page is from, this is from Sunday. Sunday, I worked on Sunday. Um, so not much happened on Sunday and on Monday, the, what's Monday, 11th, 12th, 13th, on Monday, the 13th, I had a Zoom meeting and so I took a picture of me. <laughs> That's me um, Zooming on my laptop. 
that's all that is just a picture of me on zoom <laughs> and so not much you know there are a few days that I'm going to merge together um, on just a couple of pages and that'll be Sunday the 11th the 12th and then I believe the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, 16th, it was pretty much the same thing, same thing every day. Um, I was working and I was training. So this week was busy in that aspect where it was mainly work and training. But it was a great week. So I'm excited. I'm excited. For my work and I'm just really glad that I'm able to that I'm able to create I've mentioned this in the past I try to craft or create or make something every single day it is my way of it of de-stressing um, it's my own little escape and it brings me a lot of joy. Stamping, doodling, cutting, looking at pictures, printing pictures, gluing paper down, making tags, coming up with new ideas, um, watching you know, other creators on YouTube. So I try to give myself a little bit, I carve out a little bit of space every day. Sometimes it's 15 minutes, sometimes it's a couple hours, depending on how my day goes, but I have to every day. It keeps me sane. <laughs> we got so much snow, so much snow overnight on the from the 14th to the 15th I think it was the 14th 14th what day is that on the 14th so I took a picture from the front porch and we got somewhere like four to six inches of snow so it snowed all night and oh it was beautiful it was cold but it was beautiful as I flipped back to the page, I had an idea to use the t this, this makeshift tag, this tag that I made from my picture, to use it as, um, what is that called? Is it tip-in in there with the washi tape? So I'm, it doesn't work out. Um, I took some washi tape to make a um to make it flip but i didn't leave enough washi tape i didn't there's not enough washi tape to stick down to the page yeah and then i tried to fix it and i was tearing <laughs> tearing the the uh the picture up so you could see how so it's not going to stick down so i need to I need to go back and fix it and figure out a way to make it work. But this, I thought it would be, I thought it would look cute to make it like a little flip. What is it called? A tip-in? A tip-in? <laughs> but it didn't work. Not enough, not enough washi tape. So I need to go back and fix that. But I like the idea. I'm not too sure about the colors. Um, that background color. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with the way this tag turned out, so I'm going to have to fix it. <laughs> so we're going to save that for later. So yeah, oh, and did you see that, um, that tag there that says hope? I picked those up at Dollar Tree. They are so cute. There were like 12 tags for a dollar. And I attached it to the page. 
I didn't want to forget and so I did it off camera. I just, I glued it to the page, just a little bit of glue at the top of the tag and then at the bottom um, and on the side. So it's a little tuck spot and you can see the little, little um, papers that are in there. But they are so cute from Dollar Tree. And so I'll probably use some of those on on uh, some of the Christmas presents I have. But I thought I would save some for for the junk journal too. Yeah, I, I really struggled with that tag. So you can see I only have a few pages left. And so I've already designated. I mean, that right there is up to the 16th. And... I barely have enough pages through the 25th because I went crazy with the first half of the book. I wasn't keeping track. And I thought I had 33 pages, you guys. I really did. <laughs> but, oh, my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. And, yeah, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.